Good afternoon and welcome to today's PRAC. This PRAC is a very important one because it's a culmination of all the work that you've been doing, which includes first semester work uh, as well as second semester. So if you really know what you're doing in this PRAC, I'd say you've pretty much cracked the course. Now the objective of today's PRAC is to determine the value of the capacitance of a capacitor. And the circuit that we're going to be using is one that's been built into what we call a lunchbox. You'll see in the lunchbox there's an inductor, a capacitor, as well as a resistor. And they're all pre-wired in here with these connection points. We're not going to be using the inductor for this work, so you won't be connecting that component into the circuit. Let's have a look to see how the circuit works. The first thing to do is to connect the earth side, which of course is the black connection, connect the earth side to the resistor. So I'm going to go from the earth side of the signal generator to that part of the resistor. The reason for doing that is because I want to establish this ground point so that I can make sure that the ground of the oscilloscope is connected to the ground of the function generator. Otherwise you're going to end up with an earth loop. If you don't know what an earth loop is, please make sure you find out. The second part that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from this side, which is the red terminal, around to the point which is in between the inductor and the capacitor. In other words, that point over there. So I go from the red side of the function generator to the point between the inductor and the capacitor. Really simple. So there's the primary circuit. The next thing to do is to connect the oscilloscope in such a way that I can read two voltages and it's always a good idea to try and read two voltages at the same time. So the first thing to do is I'm going to connect a black wire from the oscilloscope which is remember the earth I'm going to connect the black wire from the oscilloscope to the ground point on the circuit. So this is the black wire and you can use either one of the two, it doesn't matter, they connect it together. So I'm going to use this black wire and connect it to there. So I've got that connection in. Now I'm going to use channel 1 to measure the input voltage. Remember, that's the input voltage. So I'm going to connect from here to there, which is channel 1, to the input voltage there. And the last connection to make is channel 2, which is from here to there. So channel 2, which is that's channel 2, to the resistor. Now I'm in a position to read these two voltages at the same time on the oscilloscope. Now to collect the data. What you're going to be doing is you're going to vary the frequency on the function generator and you're going to tabulate for different frequencies the input voltage as well as the resistor voltage. You'll use this family of readings as well as the value of that resistor which you're going to get by using a multimeter in the lab to determine the capacitance